Hey everyone, this is Captain Kyle. I'm here at BlurredCon 2018 with Karen Ashley, very talented actress, writer, creator. How are you enjoying the con? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's my first time at BlurredCon. It's awesome, and everybody's so nice, and it's just a lot of fun, really good energy. I mean, any con that has a barbecue, I, I, I it built into the show, I'm, I'm all about it. <laughs> did you have any barbecue? I did. I did, yes, it, and it was pretty spectacular. I mean, they had a whole barbecue, and there was music and a DJ, and people were dancing. That's my kind of party. So I understand you do a lot of cons. I've actually seen you at other cons. Yeah, I do a ton. I, I probably do anywhere from 25 to 30 shows a year. So literally, I tell people it's at least two to three weekends out of the month I'm gone. And then I take the month of December off. <laughs> Family time. Yes, yes, absolutely. <laughs> and when you go to all these cons, you must see a ton of cosplay. What do you think of the cosplayers? It's amazing. I mean, you see everything from, you know, I mean, literally every character comes alive and, and they do a really good job. I mean, what I find that's so amazing to me is that a lot of them make their costumes and they spend the whole year, you know, fine tuning and getting them right. And I tell them all the time they really should think about going into costuming because some of the work is impeccable. Absolutely. I think that has actually happened for a few people. So tell me about Hyperforce. Yes, Hyperforce. Oh, well, it was Power Ranger Hyperforce. It's a kind of a interactive game, a, like kind of like D&D, &D, but Power Ranger version. Um, and they had a show going and they basically asked me to come on and, and guest star. And I was able to do two episodes with them. But it was a lot of fun. I'd never played D&D. &D. I knew nothing about it. But they were like, come on, have fun with us. And it's, it's very impromptu so it's like you know it's like improv class mixed in with a, a game of D&D &D, and I, I really loved it but the fans really loved it they love the fact seeing you know uh, rangers from different seasons come on and guest star they loved us going on adventures and they also just liked seeing Aisha you know come back to life um, and I when I was there they brought my costume and all my original props so it was pretty like a walk down memory lane you know I hadn't seen that stuff in 23 years <laughs> That's very cool. And I understand you're working on some new projects. Can, yeah. What can you tell us? Well, I'm doing a graphic novel series called The Order Icarus Rising. And it's actually a three-part series uh, of books that it, it, it's actually a prequel to a movie that we're shooting called The Order. And The Order, we're actually, I was able to talk 15 of my former cast members to come and join me. So 15 former Power Rangers, we're all getting together. We're making this movie, along with a lot of people you know very well from the comic-con circuit and it's an action uh, you know i mean it's like it, the order is basically a group of vigilantes that shadow at the fbi and the cia so there's a lot of action there's a lot of fun and um but the books they actually come out in august the pre-sales are available august 1st and um the books are basically going to take you through all the backstories of the order and how these people came together and right where the third book drops you off is where the plot for the movie will pick you up so it's exciting. It sounds very cool. A good way to, to draw them in, like, seamlessly. Yeah. Well, you know, we'd always planned to do a book, and so we kind of went back and forth on, on the idea of the book, and a graphic novel seemed like the thing to do. I mean, we're at a Comic-Con every weekend, and it really does bring to life the story. And so that was one of the things that we were super excited about. We wanted to tell the story, and it's it's a very complicated story. And, and where where the, the plot takes you with the film, it was like, we kind of want the film to just, you know, be just in full, you know, stride. And so that really helps us do that. Well, that is awesome. So where can people follow you on social media to find out about when how these projects are coming along and more stuff yeah you can find me at karen ashley um on instagram and on twitter and you can find me at official karen ashley on facebook <laughs> all right now we have three very silly questions yeah. are you ready I i'm ready i'm ready i'm excited okay so if you could travel through time yes. and just visit for a while you don't have to stay there where would you like to go if I could travel through time and visit, I would like to go to ancient Egypt. I'd love to see how the pyramids were made. I mean, there's so much mystery behind that. I would just want to take a peek at that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> You're not the first to give that answer, actually. Really? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's like one of the marvels. Of, I mean, that's one of the things that blows my mind. I'm like, how is that even possible? So, yeah, I'd go to ancient Egypt. Awesome. Now, if you hadn't gone on this journey into the Power Ranger world and writing... What do you think you'd be? 
I have no idea because my goal since I was five years old, I used to always say I want to be an actress, dancer, singer, model, choreographer, producer, film director. And so I, I didn't become a director. I'm more of a producer. Um, but all the other stuff I've been able to do. But this is like five years old. I used to tell people this. And I've got a picture of myself when I was three. And I'm like, say, I mean, literally, it's like, I, I think I probably... I would have been in the film industry some kind of way because my goal was to go to college and I was going to go to film school. And um, I booked Power Rangers and didn't show up to college. <laughs> so you bypassed the whole thing. All these hardworking people out there are like, what are you doing? Right, right. People used to ask me, like, how did you get in? And how do you? And I go, I honestly don't know. I went to an open call and I booked it. And my life changed and the course of my life has stayed on that course. So I don't know how to say, oh, you b pound the pavement and you do this, you do that. I have no idea how that all works because it, it happened a different way for me. Sometimes it's just like lightning strikes and yeah, you can't yeah. expect it. Yeah, because before Power Rangers, a lot of people don't know this, but I had a record deal. I was signed, I was in a girl group called Crush and we were signed to A&M Records. So I started working professionally when I was 12 years old. So I kind of... You know, I've always kind of been in the industry. I was always going to auditions. I always uh, would do that kind of stuff. And so, yeah, it was just, I think my goal when I, when I was a child, I had a dream. My mom told me, you can do that. It's possible. So it never occurred to me that it wouldn't happen. And I just plugged and plugged and plugged until it did. Well, that is awesome. <laughs> Make your goals early in life. Yes, absolutely. And I, I mean, and you know what I always tell people? Don't stop dreaming because those dreams are a reality. They might change and you might do something that's a little different version. And But you could still have a piece of that dream. And you'll even find that when it changes, it's almost for the good. You almost, it almost needed to change because it's better for you. So. And our final silly question. Well, and you probably have a really good answer. What is your go-to karaoke song? Oh, uh, Michael Jackson, you want to be starting something or baby's got back, baby got back. I mean, I've got like a whole list. I mean, how much time do we have? <laughs> how much time do you want to give it? You know, salt and pepper push it. Baby got back. Uh, yeah, it, there's too many. I don't want to embarrass myself. It's all really cheesy songs because I, I feel like karaoke. I have friends that get up there and they're like Whitney Houston and, you know, and it's like they're, I mean, they're really good. But for me, I think karaoke should, I want to laugh until I cry. So I get up there and, and, and absolutely embarrass myself. <laughs> Which is kind of what karaoke's for. Yes. <laughs> well, we're going to wrap up now, but before we go, anything you want to say to your fans? You know what, guys? Come. Uh, I, I travel all around the world, and I'd love to see you at a Comic-Con near you. So always follow my social media at Karen Ashley on Instagram and on Twitter, and at official Karen Ashley on Facebook and you'll find where I'm at every weekend and let's let's it's let's morph let's have fun come get all this yellow ranger sassiness it's waiting for you well thank you so much yes, thank you and thanks everyone for watching and as always have fun and it's, it's morphin time <laughs> this is Goku thanks for watching and remember don't forget to subscribe uh, yeah! <laughs>